Hello everyone, Hare Krishna. Now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructs Sanatana Goswami about the science of the absolute truth. Chaitanya said, the predominator of the willing potence is Lord Krishna. For by his supreme will, everything comes into existence. In will, there, there is a need for knowledge, and the knowledge is expressed through Vasudeva. There is no possibility of creation without thinking, feeling, willing, knowledge, and activity. The combination of the supreme will, knowledge, and action brings about the cosmic manifestation. Very nice. Lord Sankarsana is Lord Balarama. Balarama. Onityananda. <laughs> Lord Sankasha is Lord Balarama, being the predominator of the creative energy, energy. He creates both the material and spiritual world. Material and spiritual world, world come from Sankasha. The original Sankarsana, Lord Balarama, is the cause of both the material and spiritual creation. He is the predominating deities of egotism, and by the will of Krishna and the power of the spiritual energy, he creates the spiritual world, which, which consists, consists of the planet Goloka Vrindavana and Vaikuntha planets. The spiritual world, that is, supreme planet in Goloka Vrindavana, by O, Goloka Vrindavana, or Krishna Loka, and Vaikuntha planets. Or, or Paravion. Hmm. Although there is no question of creation as far as the spiritual world is concerned, spiritual world there is no creation because, because everything is eternal. Eternal means no, no creation, not end, only present, present, <laughs> only existence. Although there is no question of creation as far as the spiritual world is concerned, the spiritual world is non, nonetheless manifest by the supreme will of Sankarsana. <laughs> the spiritual world is the abode of the pastimes of the eternal, of the eternal spiritual energy. energy. Mm. Gokula, the supreme abode and planet, appears like a lotus flower that has a thousand petals. The world, the world, yeah, the, the world of the lotus, the world of the lotus is the abode of the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. Uh, this lotus shaped supreme abode is created by the will of Lord Ananta. This verse uh, is quoted from the Brahman Sahita. By the agents of the material energy, this same Lord Sankarsana create all the universes. The dual material energy, know in modern language as nature, is not the cause of the material universe. So, the the and material energy is due, eh? it's not, it's that it's not called, called the creation of the material universe. Without the supreme personality of God's energy, due matter cannot create the cosmic manifestation. In its power does not arise from the material energy itself, but is endowed by Sankarsana. Mm. Sankarsana endowed. No matter alone cannot create anything. <laughs> People think, ah, ah it's the, the, the universe consp conspiration favorite me, but 
the universal what plan is meteority thou matters not 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 think not willing nothing only the the power energy spiritual energy Krishna by uh, origin by Sankashana the material material can create the material energy produces the creation by the power of the supreme personality of God confirm this eh? iron it's itself has no power to burn but when iron is placed in fire it is empowered to burn Balarama and Krishna are the original efficient and material cause of the material world mm. as Mahavishnu and the material energy they enter into the material elements and create the varieties by multi energies. Thus, they are the cause of our cause. Ishwara Parama Krishna Satidananda Vigraha Anadiyadi Govinda Savakaranakara Savakaranakara. Continuation. The form of the Lord that descends into the material world to create is called an avatar or incarnation avatar a cross from down to cross from up to down avatar hmm. all the expansions of lord krishna are actually resided are actually residents of the spiritual world but when they descend into the material world they are called incarnation avatars hmm. to glance over the material energy and empower her Lord Sankashana first incarnates as Lord Mahavishnu Hmm. In the beginning of the creation, the Lord expands himself in the form of the Purusha incarnation, accompanied, accompanied by all the ingredients of material creation. First, he created the 16 principal energy suitable for creation. This was for the purpose of manifest, manifesting the material universe. This, this quote from Shimad Bhagavatam. For, for an explanation, also you can read Anilila. Karana da Kashai Vishnu, Mahavishnu, sorry. Karana da Kashai Vishnu, Mahavishnu, is the first incarn incarnation of the Supreme Lord Krishna. Karana Kashadishu, Mahavishnu, is the first incarnation of the Supreme Lord, and he is the master of eternal time, space, cause, and effects, the mind, the elements, the material ego, the modes of nature, the senses, the, the universal form of the Lord. Garboda Kashai Vishnu and the sum total of all living beings, both moving and non moving. Mahavishnu, Karana Kashai Vishnu, is, uh, 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 is everything come from him. It's quote from Jamad Bhagavatam. Next verse. Next verse. The original personality of God, named Sankashana, first lies down in the river Viraja, which serves as a border between the material and the spiritual world. That is, is a river between material world and spiritual world, Viraja. As Karana Dakashai Vishnu, he is the original cause of the material creation. Okay? We will continue in the next video.